Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having an awesome day today. So today's video is another sewing video and I'm going to be showing you guys five of my favorite patterns for beginner sewing levels. So these are patterns that you're going to find really easy to use if you are new to sewing and I have a few different fun projects that you guys could definitely do and I also have some of the garments that I made myself to show you guys today. So it should be a fun video and I'm going to go ahead and jump right in and show you guys the patterns. So a pattern that I think would make a great first project is a A-line skirt, a really simple skirt. They have really clean, easy to sew lines. Often they have a side zipper which can be a little bit challenging but it's a great thing to learn right from the beginning. So a pattern that I think would be really great for this is the ginger skirt from Colette Patterns. I have made this in the past, but it was a really long time ago and I don't even think I still have the skirt, but I'll see if I can dig up a picture somewhere. If any of you guys have been following me since way back in the day, I know I posted it on my old like first blog back in like I don't know, 2008 or something like that. So I've had this pattern for a really long time, but it's a great basic pattern. The front has two panels and then there is a back center zipper. So you have four pieces making up the skirt and then also a waistband. It has some really cute, fun waistband options that just make for a great little vintage inspired skirt, but you could also do just a simple plain waistband. So this pattern is really versatile depending on your style. You can make something really simple or really retro and fun. So you could definitely mix it up with this one. And I think it would be a great one to start out with. I have one more pattern to talk about that I don't actually have a garment or even the pattern for because I have just the pattern pieces, but it is a sleeveless top. I think sleeves are the most difficult part of sewing a top. So to get yourself started, try making something like a tank top. And a pattern that is great for this is also from Colette Patterns. It's called their Sorbito Top. And it's actually a free download. So if you have a printer, you can just download it and print it and tape it together. I actually posted a video on this channel, I think last summer, where I made a top using that pattern. So I will link to that in a card and also put a picture here so that you guys can see what it looks like. But it's a really easy to follow pattern. It's a sleeveless top, so there's no sleeve to set in. It does have darts in the front to give it a little bit of shape, which is a great thing to learn and really easy to do. And and then it has binding on the neckline and armholes. So it's very simple, but will teach you some really great basic skills. And I think that would be a wonderful first top to make. So once you've graduated from making a sleeveless top, you are ready to try setting in sleeves. And a pattern that is super easy and really fun is from Simplicity. This is number 8335. And I actually made this on my channel a couple of years ago as well. It is super cute. It has these fun ruffle sleeves, but you could also make it without the ruffles. And then the back has this cool, um, kind of like a ruffled detail. I actually have this top to show you guys. This is one of my most worn summer tops. I think it is so cute. It's super easy because the front doesn't even have darts or anything. It's just an open um, type of design. It's very boxy and really easy to fit in that way, but the back is so cute. I love this detail here. So it's a really easy one and definitely a fun project because it has some fun detailing going on. So I would definitely recommend this pattern if you guys are looking for kind of a fun top to get started on. So my recommendation would be to make both a top and a skirt before you try making a dress because a dress is basically just the combination of the two. And when you do get to making a dress, try to choose something that is simple because you are combining those two styles together. So a pattern that I really like is called the Anna Dress from By Hand London. And there are a couple of things that I like about this pattern. This is a dress that I made a while back. Um, and I don't think you'll be able to see the details too well, so I'll put a picture in as well. But one thing that I love is that it doesn't have a set in sleeve, but it still has the illusion of having a sleeve. So that's really easy to do. And then also the fit is done with some pleating, which is really simple as well. And the skirt is just kind of a flared style skirt with some panels and then it has a back center zipper. So it's a really easy dress to fit in my opinion, which I think would make it a great first one to do. You can do either the maxi length or the midi length. So there's some different options there. And then I also have found this pattern in my pattern stash, which I have not made yet. I've had this for ages and I really need to sew it. This is from Colette Patterns and it is their crepe dress, which is a wrap around style. And I think this would be great as well if you're a beginner because the wrap makes it a little bit more forgiving on the fit and you don't have to worry about buttons or zippers, which can be some of the most daunting tasks when you're new to sewing. So this would be a great one to try out as well. And I think I really need to make this now that I'm looking at it. And then if any of you guys remember the video I did a couple of years ago on my tips for getting started with sewing, one of my top tips for getting started is to try starting with something like pajamas because nobody's really going to see it and it can be serviceable without having to be, you know, perfect. A pajama pattern that I love is the Carolyn pajama pattern from Closet Case Patterns. But particularly, I want to talk about the shorts today because I think shorts are so much easier to sew than full long pants. So I think the shorts from this would be a great beginner project. I have these here, which I wear all the time. I love these. I actually made my best friend a similar pair. She has these in like a blue color 
And there's some great skills that you'll learn from this, but they're really easy to make and easy to fit. And since they're shorts, there's not so much fabric to deal with, so you don't need as much fabric, which is great. So I love these. Some skills that you'll learn with these shorts are how to do pockets. They have pockets which are super fun and also piping and a cuff. So there's some fun details here, but they're really easy to make, super comfortable and very serviceable. So if you are looking for a pajama pattern, I think that would be a great place to start. All right, guys, so those are my top five favorite patterns for beginner sewing. If you guys have any questions about them, let me know down in a comment below, and I will have links to all the patterns in the description box, so you can check that out as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and spending your time on my channel today. If you are new and would like to see more videos about DIY and sewing and style, that is what I post. So I'd love to have you along for future videos. You can click the subscribe button down below and the notification bell if you would like to keep up with my future videos. And then if you would like to keep up with me outside of YouTube, I am on Instagram and my blog. I post a lot of more details on my sewing projects on my blog, so if you're curious about that, I will have that linked in the end card. But thank you guys again so much for watching and hanging out today, and I will talk to you in the next one.